It's like cat yoga. He likes to stretch himself all the time. When he approaches us, he'll ask for it. I call it a stretchy stretch. Sometimes he stretches so hard that he starts snorting. Of course, he always gets a kiss at the end. And you can even see him stretch his toes and his tail, kind of doing his own yoga pose. That's just something he started doing very young. I thought it was weird because he was doing it with my husband and I was like, why is he stretching like that? My husband's like, he just does it when I pick him up. He stretches his whole body out. If I'm standing there, who will expect me to scoop down and pick him up? That's just one of his weird, quirky things. Zuko is a calmer cat, so perhaps he likes to stretch and be more of a zen kind of cat than the other two, who are a little rambunctious at times. Zuko is the only cat of the three of them that will actually stretch vertically. Sia and Richard Parker both actually dislike being picked up at all. They look similar to other people, but I'm their mom, so they look nothing alike to me. They all have really distinct personalities, and I think it keeps everything interesting. And I love that they're all so different. Sia is the alpha of the entire household. Why don't you want to move? She's very sassy and the boys will do whatever she says. She yells constantly. Zuko's personality, so he's the middle child. Zuko's just a gentle boy. He just wants to be loved and he just wants to love everyone. And Richard Parker is nothing but trouble. What are you doing, bud? Uh, Richard Parker just wants to play with everybody. He's a kitten in a two-year-old's body, but Zuko will put up with him just because he's a good boy. C is just not a fan of Richard Parker at all. Richard Parker is the instigator. He loves to attack Zuko, but then sometimes I'll also see him giving Zuko a bath. is the mediator. He wants everybody to be happy. If they're ever close together, Zuko will get in the middle so that Richard Parker is not trying to pick on Sia or the other way around. My cats mean the world to me. I don't have children, so they are my children. And I feel like life would be really boring without my cats. Oh, we're having a cat fight. I love them so much.